welcome to Bedtime Stories with me, Susie. It's so great to have you. I'm going to tell you the story of Ivan the Pea. Many, many years ago, in the cold old land of Russia, there lived a king and queen, Tsar and Tsarina of Russia. And they had a beautiful daughter called Vasilisa of the Golden Braid, because she had thick, silky golden hair that she tied in a plait that cascaded down her shoulder. She was so beautiful that the Tsar, the king, he decided to lock her away to stop prying eyes from seeing her beauty and she stayed there locked away day and night. When she turned 18 the Tsar decided that she should get married and they found a very suitable handsome man. But the night before her wedding Vasilisa of the Golden Braid, she threw herself at her father's feet and said, Papa, please let me go outside. Let me be free for a day to experience nature before I fall under the protection of another man. Please. And the Tsarina's heart melted and so did the Tsar. So the morning of her wedding, dressed in her wedding gown with her veil over her face, she went outside for the first time in years into the grounds of the palace and there she felt the soft green grass under her feet. She saw the beautiful flowers and she buried her face in them and <laughs> smelled their sweet fragrance. And she felt the gentle breeze tickling at her veil. It tickled the veil this way and that. And then the breeze picked up. It blew the veil so much that it <laughs> flew up over her head and her face was exposed to the elements for the first time. But the breeze, it grew in strength and it started blowing her this way and that, tugging and pulling until it was such a gust that it picked her up and carried her off to another land far away. You see, a wicked dragon had sent this wind to whisk her up and steal her for himself. Well, the princess was lost. And there was great sadness in the kingdom. One day, the Tsarina was walking in her palace grounds and suddenly she felt really, really thirsty. So she bent down and she scooped up some of the water from the clean, pure water of the brook. And there, she started gulping down the water. And then she noticed a small green pea plopped into the water. And before she knew what was happening, she'd gulped that down too. The pea traveled down her gullet and with a slightly odd heaviness, boom, it landed in her stomach. And there its activity did not stop. It started fizzing and popping, a bit like popping candy. And then it felt like fireworks were going off inside her stomach. And then her stomach grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until the poor woman tipped over by the imbalance of her weight and she was there suspended with arms and legs flailing balanced on her inflated belly and she uttered her last prayer please god don't let me pop but she didn't pop Instead, she gave birth to a roly-poly, chubby-cheeked, bouncy baby boy who she called Ivan the Pea because he had come from a pea. Well, Ivan, my word, the boy could eat. He ate so much every single day and every single day he grew bigger and bigger. He doubled in height and weight every single day and his biceps were bulging. His thighs were like tree trunks and he became an enormous man. And he said, Mama, I will go and find my sister Vasilisa of the Golden Braid and bring her back. No, I don't want to lose another child. Mama, I was born for such a time as this. And he strode off across the Russian landscape. And with every stride he took, everywhere he planted his foot, the mountains quaked and the earth shook. He went over mountains and valleys and he came to the darkest valley of all. And there in the dark valley was a dark black castle rising up out of the valley with dark clouds gathered above it. It was the castle of the dreaded dragon. And the dragon, he felt the earth quake and shake and he came flying out of his castle and he saw Ivan and swooped down. And Ivan shouted up, give me back my sister. 
And the dragon, with an irksome grin, said, never. But as he swooped towards Ivan, Ivan thrust out a giant arm and he grabbed the dragon around its neck and he squeezed tighter and tighter. The dragon tried to release an inferno of flames at Ivan, but his grip was so tight that the dragon ended up just coughing and spluttering and puffing out little bits of smoke until <coughs> he killed him. And the dragon exploded and bits of the dragon were flying this way and that all over Russia. And Ivan, he strode up into the castle, he rescued the princess and he took her back to the palace. Joy and happiness returned to the Tsar and Tsarina as they hugged their beautiful Vasilisa of the Golden Braid. She was home once more. But a strange thing happened. Each day, Ivan grew smaller and smaller and smaller. His great big frame, it shrank until he vanished. They couldn't find him anywhere. And one day the Tsarina was walking in her grounds and she looked at the babbling brook and she went over and on the surface of the water she noticed a green pea. She picked it up and she kissed it and she put it amongst the most treasured possessions in all of Russia. And there it remains to this day. And that's the story of Ivan the pea, who was born out of a very, very small pea, but he was born for a very big adventure. And you, you might be small, but you were born for a big adventure too. Well, I hope to see you soon for another story. That's me. Bye.